United States, if 43% of eligible voters do not vote, then democracy is weakened, particularly in an age of social media where so many people are getting their information in sound bites and snippets off their phones. If we can't discriminate between serious arguments and propaganda, then we have problems. I resemble those remarks. Did he just say that if you were a Trump supporter, you were impulsive, maybe a little bit stupid, and that you rely on social media to get probably the wrong news? So what are you doing? Uh, I'm sure I, I misunderstood that, but that's the gist that I got out of that. Emily Jasinski is here at Young America's Foundation. Gabby Marangiello of the Washington Examiner. Last but not least, uh, Steve Laser, Democratic strategist. Steve, I hope I, I got that wrong, but it sounded like he was dismissing the phenomena that brought in President-elect Trump. Well, I don't think we should focus on the word impulse in his statement. I think the word change is really where he was going. I think, he and I think said impulse. He, he uh, did say, yes. but he said impulse to change. Right. And I think that's really, that's a part of the story of this election. There's so but many he also under, mentioned, there's so many undercurrents. you know, media and, and stories that are wrong or that come over devices, that that accounted for this. I think that would assume that 65 million people were glued to their device and voted accordingly. Well, I will say, you know, one of the great things about the Internet is you get all these different pieces of information. The problem is anybody with a few bucks and uh, 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 the basic know-how can put up a website and call themselves a news site. And there is a lot of, you know, uh, on both sides, say, right? What? There, 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 are st there, there must be then gullible Democratic voters as well. Right? Ab absolutely. And I I've been caught. I have been caught by crazy information that I've posted out there and it turned out to be uh, a satire website. It's very hard to tell all sometimes. Right, right. Well, I just, I, Emily, here's my thing. And I, and I know what Steve's saying, but when you are the president of the United States and you are on foreign soil and you were even hinting that this was somehow not kind of real, that it was impulse, it was uh, brought on by Ameri you know, cynical Americans, uh, you know, 43% of whom didn't vote. Uh, you're sending a message abroad, look, oh, hell if I know what happened. I don't know if that's a good message. No, it's not. And I mean, so the American left, of which President Obama is really the de facto head, has just had the rug yanked out from under it. And so I think what you're seeing is them flailing a little bit, just sort of looking for an explanation. They had no idea what was going to happen. They just had no expectation of Donald Trump winning the election. He's grasping out kind of desperately, I think, for an explanation. It's not accurate in any way whatsoever. And it's kind of classic President Obama, who has demonstrated this almost contempt for the American people time again. He was well, campaigning I, I don't in 2008. Well, I that, but Gabby, I will say this, and help me with this, Gabby, that... Um, up to now, up to this European trip, actually, I've commended the president. I thought he's done a very good, magnanimous job, not only in meeting with Mr. Trump uh, and, and, and urging calm and everyone just respect and honor the results of this election. But as days go by, it gets a little bit more prickly about whether this is a repudiation of him and his policies and, and then an outright dismissiveness about Mr. Trump. That's just my take. What is yours? It has been a little bit confusing because, you know, he started off as the adult in the room. Uh, we Very learned in, a, so. in an interview this week that he was the one consoling some of his senior staffers as they watched the election results pour in last week. <laughs> and, you know, he, he met with key European leaders this morning and encouraged them to work with the incoming administration. Um, but now to see him making comments such as he did in that interview with the German television station and to suggest that the American voters, the 61 million American voters who supported Donald Trump, weren't smart in their decision making, uh, I think, you know, Emily was right. Do President Obama and many Democrats are still searching for an explanation as to explain how they suffered such a crushing well, he, election he, he defeat last week. he tipped his hand, week. though, right? Steve, he said they wanted change. Well, yeah, normally people want change. They're not quite satisfied with the economy and the numbers you're satisfied with, Mr. President. Now, that's not to disparage the president, but it's also not to disparage the Trump voter. I mean, that voter was not satisfied with the pace of one of the weakest economic recoveries we've ever seen. So who could blame them from saying to the president, uh, look, we think we can do better. Well, and I'm interested in watching the Republicans try, but I will say I do agree with the other panelists with one thing. I think many of us Democrats, me included, are still searching for, to some extent for the answers as to what happened. I mean, I, I have my opinions. I tend to agree with, with Hillary Clinton that, uh, that Director Comey had a lot to do oh, with this, come but on, it's come something. On. No, I, I, I do. I mean, she was leading by 9%, and all of a sudden, you know. Uh, things Director changed Comey seemingly was overnight. the least of her problems. I think, uh, you know, yeah. a, a boring... Well, they all had a lot of challenges. They all had a lot of challenges. They blame the private server they rather than did. the FBI director. I think what... Well, uh, and this is... And Republicans failed to do this four years ago with, the, with Barack Obama winning re-election. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to look in the mirror 
and just say, you know what, I'm the screw up here. You know, Emily, and I, I, I do this when I walk by bears, I said, you know, that mayor adds 20 pounds. I don't know what's wrong with it. Right, and I think it's time for the American left to do some self-reflecting because I think they've gotten a pass from a lot in the media and they've gone unchecked by the mainstream media for a, a long time now. And I also think what's really fascinating about this is President Obama campaigned on hope and change in 2008. Donald Trump campaigned on change big time um, this time in 2016, and they shared a lot but of voters. But the sooner a so, party does it, Gabby, the better. The sooner <laughs> yeah. Republicans, yeah. if you wait for another election to see if you've got your act together, you don't have right. your act together. Well, and I, I do think it's important to know that there are some Democrats, like Congressman Tim Ryan, who plans to challenge Nancy Pelosi in the leadership elections, who realize that the party needs to look inward and reflect on what happened right. and what went wrong this yeah. election cycle. Well, not too much went wrong. I mean, we did win the popular vote. Uh, I realize I that that's it. not what decides the election. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. So don't jump all, all over me. Uh, but you, obviously, you, we didn't do everything quite terribly Do you wrong. think, by the way, if we fought oh, a race yeah. based on the popular vote, then you'd automatically have... No, 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 I mean, no, no. people and, can and, and differently. And I actually happen to agree there. with Donald Trump you there, You went Neil. there with that argument. No, 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 I actually happen to agree with Donald Trump there that, you right. know, if that was the rules, but he would have done things differently, anyway, too. But you didn't you? You just had to, yeah, you back me to Yeah, no, All he right. would have done differently, just things differently, too. He would have run a different campaign. I, I And I totally agree with him there. But, but, but you had to mention. Yeah. Okay, guys, seriously, very good having you all on. Uh, I, I was wrong on that mirror thing, by the way. It only is about...